Hey YouTube, today I'm going to simplify things. That is a very heavy table and it is a coffee table and it's difficult to move on this rug. So to simplify things, today I'm going to install these. But there are a couple of little tricks that I want to show you. Come along with me as I make this table more mobile with putting on wheels. Here we go. Okay, I always point this out every time I do a wood project. I always, I believe in pilot holes, especially in legs like this that are uh, going to split on you. <laughs> the uh, the drill bit is about half the size. It's uh, it, the inside of the thread here. So you don't want to, you want to make sure that you have thread, wood. You want to make sure that you have the thread in wood. So you got to have the hole at least the size of the shaft inside there so that the thread can have this so this is pretty close close as I can get anyway it'll keep the wood from splitting when I screw this in okay one thing I want to point out here is that uh, this thing is rectangular not square and this is square so it doesn't really matter which side I have this on however this is going to get pushed from forward to back on lengthwise on this thing so I would think that it's going to have these the most strength in the rectangle version rather than this version because of this type of torsional twist on it so I'm going to go this way and then uh, here's the biggest tip that I have for you today is that you want to drill this so that it doesn't go straight in. You want to go in at an angle. It's going to be on the bottom. Nobody's going to see it. So it doesn't matter if the uh, screw head doesn't go all the way in. But this way here, going in at an angle allows you to cross cut this wood. Because I can see the grain right here. If I were to just screw right in, it would split this thing and it would go all the way down with the split. So drilling it in at an angle gets me at a cross, um, what do you call it? Gets that at a cross grain and also it will keep it from splitting the wood because I'm drilling a pilot hole. So I'm going to do the first one, have it tied down tight, then come back and do the next ones with it screwed down. That way there I don't have to use a pencil and get close. Okay, I got one done. Lesson learned. This is a rather too slow, too much of a job for this to, for this tool. So I'm going to step it up and uh, this thing should get the rest of them done. So one done, I'm going to finish the rest. <laughs> So far, so far, so good. Got a wheel on each leg. And I'll show you now the reason that I did this. When you want to vacuum, you just push with a couple of fingers. Now that table is easily moved, easily vacuumed, easily moved back. Another job well done by the Mighty Mouse. Thanks for watching, folks.